welcome back everyone so here we are a new video today finally getting around to doing it I am going to give you guys an example of how to print on a cup so I'm going to be printing a new design on a 16 ounce um, acrylic mug and I'm just going to show you guys how I usually go about doing it. So, this is a brand new mug I got here. It's just a regular acrylic mug. Plastic, so it's not one of those glass ones. Clear. You know, pretty generic. <laughs> so, uh, my handy dandy notes, because you tend to forget. So, I always recommend everybody please note down your measurements. Please note down all your thoughts. However, you want to, you know, however you're gonna do this. I even put a little pictures of how I place my mug. Believe me, because if you go days, you know, weeks without doing a mug, then you completely forget it. So, usually I have my notes here. Then that way I can just go back through my notes and, I, you know, not have to remeasure everything. So, let me get some light. Here we are. The first thing we need to do is obviously go back here and we're going to switch off automatic and we're going to turn on the bottle printing option okay uh, then i usually like to lower this tray as much as i can I think that's pretty good and I am going to take my tray and we're gonna put our tray over here I gotten some questions in the comments about the tray not um, staying on this platform and it when they push it when they push the platform all the way back they say that this is falling um, make sure that you have it the right way you know here are magnetic pieces on this side and there'll be another magnetic piece over here and they usually stick to this right here on this size so when it gets pushed all the way back these things will be literally they get stuck to like right there so it shouldn't fall off or be unbalanced or anything like that. Next thing you want to do is make sure that you clean your cup very good to remove any kind of dirt, debris, anything. I use coffee filters because they don't leave, um, you know, little debris or any kind of fiber on the cup that's what i've seen that works best so i'm just gonna make sure i clean this really good and i use rubbing alcohol and you know that dries pretty quickly so based on my handy dandy notes here i even kind of drew how i usually place my cup and it's going to be placed this direction. Like this. So based on my notes, I usually have it all the way here, touching the end. You see how these three rubber pieces are on the cup so that when it rolls, look how smooth it is there's no interruption it just rolls with it I'm gonna be printing a wraparound design so 
this needs to be able to roll freely without any interruptions. So now I'm here, I selected File Open and I'm going into my drive and I am going to select this cute Halloween design which I will be printing on my cup. We're going to go ahead and open that. So now it's here and I imported this in the measurements that I want this to be so this you have to set all of this up already wherever you just you have your design on canvas just that's what I use canvas in the size that you wanted it to be next I'm going to select my colors of course I want them to be I usually set my preferences doesn't have to be this I mean it can be up to you I like it at 65 because that's where I feel it prints best obviously white I want it to be at a hundred and for mugs I was told not to print varnish so it'll only be white so the varnish channel is turned off so only white no varnish So that is good then your layout of course this is where all the measurements go and this is the important part all right so here I have it let me turn on my light so on here are my output positions and my size I have them set up as the width is going to be 340, height 290, because that's what what initially I started out with. I am going to include a video here of how I chose my measurements. Like the company sent me some videos on how to print on cups and I just kind of went with um, you know took my guess my cue from those videos and let's see here once I have that then I am going to put my other measurements which will be the output size So on here for my plastic clear cups, which are the smaller cups, my output position for a wraparound design is going to be the width 100. And the height automatically adjusts so as you can see it turns a lot smaller <laughs> it's not as big but you want that to happen my output position is going to be 30 and it moved over you see that so these are your most important things here going to be the paper size of course your um which you know this not really a paper but it's the size that i decided to choose which is the size of the tray then your output position sorry for all the blurriness and going to be your output size those are the most important measurements to this and I'm going to insert the video right here so that you guys can understand where I'm getting all these numbers from. This 
宽度是七个厘米，七个厘米这么宽。然后呢，基本上准备从这里打起。首先图片做好七个厘米。距离，这个地方的距离，我们用尺量一下，从这个打印机的边子，这里边子，再到我准备，到这个 S 这里开始打印，从这里开始打印吧。好，如果说十十点五个，再加上五个毫米。空出在软垫中空出这么多，也就是我们这么多的距离，就可以。So I'm going to explain to you all of these points, which are important for you to understand how to measure and how to get your own measurements. Okay? So we're going to start out with a cup measurement, which will be. Whatever cup you decide you're going to print on. Then we're going to move on to the paper size, which is paper size. Then we're going to do the、um, output position, the output size. Okay? These are going to be the measurements that you're going to be inputting into the system in order for it to print. So let's get started. First, start out with your design in the correct measurements. So, this design right here is for my wraparound when I want to design to wrap around the cup. And this file is set to a 9 by 4 inches. Why is that? I'll show you. So, this cup, this particular cup, if you measure around, it is 9.5 inches. But I like to leave a bit of room just in case, so I have it set up for 9. And of course, like I've said before, I have the other part as set, as, set up for 4 inches. So, 9 by 4. And that's where I always want my design to be. That way it doesn't print up here, it doesn't print too low. It's just nicely in this area. That is why I have all my signs set up like that. Now, I also have another file on here that is for my four inch designs. So I'm sorry, right here. So these ones are set up in a file just. Four by four, four inches by four inches. Why? Because if I want a design that is just in this area, you know, then it'll print right here in the middle, four by four. Or if you know, if it's smaller inside, that's fine. But it'll be, it will be in this area, and it won't go away from there. So, in it, the first thing always make sure that you set up your Your file to the measurements that you want your design to be in your cup. And then from there, you send it off to your printer. And then that's when you start then setting up your measurements. So here is where I get my paper size. Look, you guys, I'm just letting you know what worked for me. So I'm not really sure if this is the correct way, but as you can see, This is how I've been doing it, and it prints just fine. So, my width comes from the table. It's about 13. What? Point 2.3. Okay. And right here, paper size 340. So, that equals out to 
inches there you go and my height is this the size of this thing as you can see it says about 11 point what three four something like that and as you can tell right here 11.4 equals out to 290 for height there's where my paper size comes from <laughs> so I wanted the print area to be about four inches in here I don't like and as you can see this is actually four inches it just wasn't in the right position but the cup itself is about 5.2 but obviously you're not going to print a design from you know the top to the bottom so I wanted just the print area to be this four and of course four inches you go and trust to Google is about 101.6 millimeter so that's where I got my 100 so you hear the measurements 30 millimeters which is about one point something inches um, let's see right here I'm gonna put it here and we're going to measure so from right there to right there was the measurements you have to measure. I started out from the beginning of the table. Oh, it's blurry. Let me get it right here. So as you can see, it's about 1.5 where it starts, but I wanted to start a little bit farther in. So let me make sure I put this cup exactly where I wanted it. So it's right there from right there to the beginning of the table it's roughly around 1.8 something like that and that what equals up to the 30 I know I made I found the measurements earlier oh, I have this other paper all right right, right there 1.2 inches also please understand that even though my measurements are literally more my printers always print it like off I've always had to set my paper like over here because it, it just it doesn't print like the first two rows so it always skips that so in reality I would have to set this up to be more like if it wasn't offset I would have had to set this up to be like 40 to 15 millimeters away where it printed right here but since my printer and I don't know how to fix that to tell you the truth you guys so since I already know that my printer doesn't start printing till about right here because I made a mark <laughs> so this part doesn't even matter so it adds more that's why I have it set to 30 and you know trial and error you guys trial and error that's mainly why I know that that's my measurements so you have to find your measurements I don't know if you have that issue with your printer where it literally prints off like an inch off of what it's supposed to yeah pretty much like an inch so since I know I have that problem you know that's my offset right there but I, I just know that 30 works for me but you need to find your measurement so just know that you know when you're seeing mine and you're like but that's not really 30 you know it doesn't it's not really starting at you know the 30 millimeters it's because my printer has it's like an inch off so let's recap these measurements, okay? Your cup measurements are gonna be whatever cup you're printing on. Make sure you measure it. Make sure you remember also, these cups are laying down flat. So, you know, your width and your height, they're kind of switched. 
Now your paper size, again, you can take these same measurements as I have, or you can do your own, whatever you decide. I just, like I said, I measured pretty much the whole width of my tray and the height of the, um, of the cup tray. So those were the measurements. Again, you just gotta switch them over to millimeters. The output size, again, is the size of your design. It all depends on if you're doing a wraparound or if you're just doing a center design. And it's gonna be, you know, for me, like I said, it was four inches. I wanted that to be just four inches. If I have a bigger bottle, obviously I want it to be bigger. So it would be bigger than that. But for this particular cup, it was just four inches that equals out to a hundred milliliters and then um not milliliters i am so sorry millimeters <laughs> um and then you know your height it's automatic as soon as you set that up this becomes automatic again because you have already set a size of your um i'm sorry you had already set a size for your design on um on canva the nine by four, I had already imported that size. So believe me, it, it matters. <laughs> so anyways, so then again, if you do a center design, of course it's, you know, you switch this up. And then the last thing, your output position, which is the distance again from where you want the print to start, when you want the, the printer to start printing on your cup. So, I think I explained that pretty well. Please remember again the notes that I made. And, you know, this right here, I can definitely, um, you guys can take a screenshot or whatever if you want. I'm going to actually include a few more notes and then I will take a picture and include it at the end of the video. So, in case you guys wanted to take that screenshot. Um, again. Here's how it will look in the system, the paper size, but you know, don't take these numbers because this is just a example from there. But your paper size, your output position, your output size, and then of course, you know, the X and Y, you only do X. But there you go, you guys, that is for measurements. Um, I'm not sure how else to explain it. So please, if you're confused or anything, just let me know in the comments. I will try my best to answer as many comments as I can. But anyways, let's get back to the video. I am going to pretty much rewind and let you know, continue on how I'm printing on this cup. All right, next, we have to position this manually and that is a little bit, mm, well, difficult, but, you know, you guys can do it. <laughs> I believe I told you in another video before that you have to make sure that you measure it to the little red mark right there. Make sure that it's about this close to it. And then, so we're going to go and see here. I'm going to start pushing it back, first of all. Keep going back until I can see the cup right underneath the red line. Right we go. Oh, it's actually pretty close. Actually, exactly where I need it to be. So, I don't need to go up any. <laughs> So, since it's actually pretty close right there already, I don't actually have to go up. All you have to do now is make sure that this tray goes all the way back. So, that is the part right here that I tell you guys to please make sure that this is now hooked to this size. The magnets are touching right there. Okay, magnets touching. And now I can just send the tray all the way back. And I usually like to hold it here 
but you see it doesn't fall because it's here and the tray is really not that you know much of a distance so now we have the cup the tray is all the way back and it's ready to go now all I gotta do is go over here we already have all our measurements put in here we're going to go to file we're gonna go to print and this is very important okay you're gonna choose over here you're gonna choose white plus color you're gonna choose tumbler and right here I don't know why but this is what the tech person told me you're going to choose on here in this little setting right here let's look at my little notes oh, right here so white no clear coat channel 1 channel 2x select tumbler with 23 nozzle and of course white plus color so we chose tumbler and we're gonna choose the 23 nozzle I have no idea why but I was having a hard time printing on cups and when I contacted tech support they told me that's the settings that I needed to have so that's the setting that I kept it and I have had no issues since choosing that so now everything is good I have my settings 100% under white I have all my measurements good 30 in my output position for X Y is 0 output size it's gonna be a hundred for width and the height is automatically adjust and on my paper size I have 344 width and 290 for height good to go good to go now all I got to do is just click print it takes a bit because it takes a lot of sending But see, it starts to print. It will take about 15 to 20 minutes to print this cup though. So I'm gonna go do some stuff outside and we'll be back when this is done. You guys, I lied. I missed one step. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Look how it's printing. It is not wrapping around. And see, this is the importance of putting notes, which I forgot to put. You must flip the design. Right here, this button. Oh my god, you must rotate it. I completely forgot about that. You rotate it. You click this once and you rotate it. And you know, I had noted down that the top of the design had to be on this section, so the top of the design, so that it prints correctly. Ah, uh, and of course, I forgot about putting on here that I must rotate it. See, there you go. <laughs> well, you know, I make the mistakes, and you know, so that you guys don't have to. So, I'm gonna print another cup with that rotated design here oh, this is not what I originally had so originally I had a hundred in here okay it actually makes it bigger so never mind yes there you go I did yeah because I had noted down that it was a hundred for the wrapper on the side I had just forgot to put that I needed to rotate it so there you go it will be bigger rotate it ah! <laughs> so all I did wrong was that I didn't rotate it because I wanted it to be wrapped around 
when it's not wrapped around that you just want it in the front or wherever then you just leave it how it was okay one more try so when the design is done it just turns off it's not going to come out because it's not you know set to automatic so all you got to do is just bring it back out and i am going to bring it down a little bit first and then i'm gonna bring it out and then make sure that you you know grab it because it's stuck on there but here's the design i mean it's pretty but <laughs> it's not what i wanted but i mean it can be used so i'll use it for something else and just so i can show you guys a more clear view that's pretty good okay second time around <laughs> let's do this all right it's good to go good now <laughs> print white color tumbler 23 white no clear no uh, varnish and we're going to start printing and I'm gonna make sure all here to make that note and there it goes so let's see what happens now so this is done and here we are you guys See, wrap around design. Let me just put this over here. Wrap around. See how I was telling you I leave an area. I could make it, you know, put 9.5, but I rather not risk it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe like and comment if you have any questions i will do my best to answer all of your questions thanks again and see you in the next video bye